Wheels. No, not the $1 cars we find everywhere, but a premium car and truck set. I'm talking about the Hot Wheels Team Transport Series. Today, I'm going to do an unboxing of Case N in the Team Transport Series. But first, who knows what the Team Transport Series is? I'll explain it after the review. I've got a video coming soon on Case J of the series, so subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss it. Now, let's get on to Case N. If you've been around here for any length of time, you know I'm not the biggest fan of Hot Wheels. Yep, I know they are what started most of us in this hobby and still make a great diecast product today, especially considering they aim for the $1 price point. But I have long thought that they could do a lot better just by making nicer looking wheels and tires. It doesn't even have to be a two-piece design, just a nicer, more realistic wheel pattern. So I moved on from Hot Wheels into Matchbox and Greenlight for my automobiles to put on my layout which is why I don't talk about Hot Wheels very much on my channel. However, I still appreciate Hot Wheels for what they are and even get one now and then to populate my layout, like their Fiat 500s or Teslas, which if you haven't seen, go and watch my Hot Wheels and Matchbox Tesla Model 3, Model S, and Model X video with the link down below. By now, you're probably asking yourself, why am I still watching this? I thought it was going to be an unboxing video. Well, it is, and I'll get right to it. And here we go, guys. This is an unopened, fully sealed case of Hot Wheels Team Transporters Release Series N. The item number is FLF56-956N. It is a full case of four pieces. It has been unopened. It's even got shipping information on the top. And you can see it has never been opened. I'll, I'm just going to go on and cut her open so that we can see what's inside. Now remember, be careful when using these knives so you don't cut yourself. And let's open it up and look at what we've got. Let's pull it out and let's see if this is what is actually supposed to be in the release series or not. First up, we've got this one, which is a 2021 Toyota Super GTR on the arrow lift. Looks like we got a second one of those right here. That's the second one. We've got two of the same there. Then we have the Volkswagen IDR and another aero lift truck to haul it. Now the IDR, that's a really cool car. So we got one of those. That's three of them. And here we go at the last one. The last one here is the 2020 Chevrolet Corvette C8R. And the carry-on, which kind of looks like a cross between a Dodge and a Freightliner. Kind of a weird-looking truck. It's not really a real one, but there it is. And that's the four pieces in this set. And, of course, we've got two of the Supra Aero set. There's two of them. Now, why don't we talk about each one of these? Well, we only need to talk about one of these arrow sets because there's two of these. This is the Aero Lift Transporter, which is kind of a European style cab over and rollback. You can see the on the sides here, it has the uh, European kind of arrow style on it and it has side skirts. It rides on just typical Hot Wheels, uh, plastic wheels, and black tires that have no tread pattern. Now, the Hot Wheels, the Supra that's sitting on it actually has a really nice looking Supra wheel and tire on it. It's still a slick, but this is a race car, it's so a slick makes sense. It has the GR 
and it has a Valvoline, a Bill Steen, and G Ready graphics on the truck right here. And then it also has the same similar graphics on the car. It's a red and white two tone, which is really nice. Uh, single piece body up on the hood, it has red and black stripes, G Ready, and then GR right there. Also, it has the uh, slightly smoked uh, windows so that it looks like you have a little bit of tint to the windows. They're not real dark, but just a little bit. Interior, black seats and steering wheel. Two seats, steering wheel. This is an American drive, so it is a left-hand drive. On the back, we have tampoed brake lights, logos, and then the Toyota logo right there. Actually, a pretty nice rendition of the new Toyota Supra. A really nice car, the 2021 Toyota Supra. Front, there you go. Just a generic sized truck. I think generic sized the trucks, but they did do a real nice job on the cars. This is number 37, and there are two of these in the set. Isn't that packaging cool? There's the big team transport of the Hot Wheels car culture logo, and then Hot Wheels Premium, and then a nice drawn version of a race scene with the car and a the truck there. The Hot Wheels did a good job on the packaging. And that's the first two. There are two of those in this set. That one aside. Next one we've got is this one, which is number 35. It is again the Aero Lift, which is that European style rollback truck. But this time it is black, black skirts with blue stripe on it, and then the R logo there. This is the IDR Volkswagen, which is an electric car. And I'm going to do a video on this one later because that is really cool. I like the electrics. I know a lot of people don't, but uh, they are kind of the future here. On the top of the car, you got the Volkswagen logo. This is like a GT or a Grand Prix type car, really sharp. Nice graphics all around. And Volkswagen, it's got Bridgestone there. And ansys over on the other side it's got the id logo volkswagen really really nice car black and blue with some gray uh, black and blue paint scheme with some gray uh, outlining really sharp ansys and bridgestone on the wing really nice wing really really a good looking car and I'm going to do a whole video on that one, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Also, it comes with this really nice packaging. Now, this one has a little different uh, design because this is a different series of racing and more of like uh, your Grand Prix, so uh, road courses. And it's more sparsely populated with the grandstand. So they just got the small grandstand there, then they got the truck and the car out on the track. Really, really sharp. Hot Wheels Team Transporter and Hot Wheels Premium logos. The back, it shows, collect them all. The Aerolift, the Carry-On, and the Aerolift. Really, really cool. Now, let's go on to the last one that I pulled out, which has got the American muscle car. Well, <laughs> American wannabe Italian car now. Chevrolet Corvette has gone mid-engine and looks like a knockoff Ferrari. Still, it's an impressive car with a... Uh, very powerful v8 under the hood this one has more of the old style wedge bed on it where it just runs up instead of a roll back toolbox doors and then the cab is gray and yellow two-tone really sharp it has same hard plastic wheels that's all right around here on the front this kind of looks like it's got the freightliner fl like 60 fl 70 grill which was their medium duty truck and kind of the similar hood with more of like a uh, Dodge International cab. Kind of a weird combination. But it still, it looks like a nice truck. This set is number 36. The truck is called Carry On. And then the Corvette is the C8R, the 2020. Packaging also has a real nice grandstand and a track. Truck and the car drawn out. Really sharp. Hot Wheels Premium and the Team Transporter logos. Now, for the Corvette. Bright yellow, which is common for Corvettes. I mean, there's a car that's supposed to stand out. It's got the gray racing stripes. It has number three, and it's got some other graphics on the side. And then the C8R, 
tampoed right down there in the gray stripe. Nice looking wheel. It's got the series there, a nice wing with a little red painted on it and black up top. Then let's turn it this way. On top, you can see the gray stripes. The number three, the Chevrolet, the Chevrolet logo and the Chevrolet Corvette logo. Graphics into the roof. Really, really cool how they did that. This is, I don't know. I'm actually a, quite a fan of the 2020 Corvette. There's a lot of people who don't like it and a lot of people that do. It's just up to whatever you like. It's It was bound to happen. The Corvette would go mid-engine and basically become an Italian sports car. But there it is. And I still think it's a good-looking car. And the 2020s are a heck of an investment if you really want one. So, there we go. That is the complete set. All three of the four. And then I'll just set the fourth one down here so you can see that all four are there. But this one here is the same as this one. You get two, in this case, of the Supra with the Aerolift truck. You get one of the Volkswagen ID and the Aerolift truck. And then you get one of the Chevrolet Corvette C8R and the carry-on truck. That makes up the Hot Wheels Team Transport Case N. See, I said it was going to be an unboxing video. Now, what is the Team Transport Series? Well, the Team Transport Series is a premium two-car set as I showed off in the unboxing. However, it is a bit different than the other series by Hot Wheels. This series was aimed at showing off how race cars get to the track. We have had many race cars from Hot Wheels over the year, but till now, getting the race car to the track was a mystery. We didn't have matched trucks to haul them. Mattel finally came through for us with these sets. A racing team transporter and race car. What more could you ask for? Other manufacturers had made us some team transporters over the years. And never mind how many NASCAR haulers have been made. But these older methods of getting to the tracks of the lower tier races has been pretty much forgotten. Thanks to Hot Wheels, these legendary teams are being remembered and getting their place of honor among the racing fans in an affordable set of models. Many of the teams featured in the Team Transport series would have never gotten a car, let alone a transporter, before simply due to the lack of widespread knowledge of their team and their racing leagues. Pretty cool of Hot Wheels to keep these names alive for the next generation of racing enthusiasts. Perhaps these models will inspire the next weekend racer or even the next racing great. <laughs> Guys, let me know in the comments if you have the racing bug and what inspired it in you. As you know, I really appreciate each and every one of my subscribers, as you guys are the reason I keep making these videos. However, these videos do take a lot of time to make, and you can guys can really help me out by going on down and dropping a tip below, or sponsoring me over on my Patreon page. There's a link to it down below as well. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos, and share this video with your followers. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with another video.